my new video. In this one, I'm so excited because we are going to unbox Prusa MK3S, the updated version, the newest version. It is awesome. It works perfectly. I, I mean, the words are not enough to describe this 3D printer because it's the best of the best of the best so far uh, that you can buy around 700 bucks. So let's unbox it and see what is inside. And this is a pretty big box, as you can see. So when we open the box, we start with congratulations note on getting the brand new Prusa. And you you have all the links and everything that you need in there. And there are really lovely stickers that are coming out with it. So the Joseph Prusa sticker and the other ones in here, which we'll take a close look to. And there's this 3D printing handbook that helps you a lot when it comes to how to how to do things so this is a good one you need to read this and there is also a user manual for assembly instructions of this Prusa but don't worry about it I'm going to make you guys a really nice video for how to assemble 3d printing of the Prusa maybe they even put my video on their website who knows but I will do my best to prepare a really great video for that oh they also gave us some Haribos I love this idea I will enjoy these Haribos this is perfect and we will continue unboxing. So we have the Y-axis chassis in here and the recipe for testing protocol and the serial numbers and everything. You might need that, so keep it for the serial number or I'll take a picture of it. And we have the power supply of the Prusa and, and the power cord. So there's this fasteners box and there is this plastic, plastic part set. And there is this Prusa Research Flament. I think inside of this there is a heated pad, but we will continue unboxing it and see what's inside. And finally we have the I guess there are beams and rods inside this one. Yes, beams and rods are inside this one. So, so right now the box is empty as you can see and we will unbox these small boxes to see what are the things inside. So we have 3D printing handbook as I mentioned. All the details in here for you to begin with are going to be included in this one. And we have this assembly instructions. In my next video I'm going to show you how to assemble this 3D printer. So it will be a video version of this book. So basically you don't need to watch that video too. But if you like the video I will show you all the instructions. And as I mentioned there is this Prusa research thing where there is a serial number and everything testing related stuff. So. I'm blocking my serial number and keep that or take a picture of it so that you don't lose it and also the congratulations message and all the links that you need are included in there and I love these stickers so take a look at them I will definitely put one of them in my computer so these stickers are so lovely and let's take a close look inside this box and see what are these fasteners and ELE surface cleaner okay we start with the surface cleaner there are lots of zip ties and inside this one the Prusa LCD as you can see and Prusa LCD as you can see and we have the SD card 16 gigabytes and there are also these screws for LCD screen itself we have this Y axis parts every part that we need are graphically in illustrated in here bearings gt2 belt driver pulleys and everything in here including nuts and everything so this is so cool so when it comes to uh, assembling the y-axis we will use these ones so i'm going to keep everything that's related with y-axis in this one so these are y-axis next we have the x-axis parts again the bearings the pulley parts gt2 nuts and screws and we have z-axis parts z-axis parts i guess the very minimum package that we have in here just screws in there and then next we are having the e-axis parts e-x is basically the extruder related stuff so these things will be the extruder parts that we have so as you can see belts screws and everything are in here we will again use these when we're assembling it and in here we have the spare parts which is great it doesn't come most of the cheap printers but Prusa of course it's not the cheap printer it's an original Prusa is a good one and it gives us some spare parts and in here we have the connections bits and nuts and cables and everything that we need are in here and again illustrated properly and we will use these we have the USB cable. Next, we have the tools that we need: the pliers, pliers, screwdrivers, and everything. 
So when we take a look at them, very high quality screwdriver, very high quality plier. I love them. Very cool. Unlike the Chinese versions, these are really good quality tools, so you can keep them. They're not going to break easily. That's what I'm trying to say. And next we have the Elden Rage set included in here. Here we have the circuit. Oh yeah, that's a good circuit. The motherboard, the brain of the Purusa. Really nice. And the, there are the pieces to attach it and everything. I'm going to keep it inside this box like that. E-L-E. -E. Next we have the little bit filament. And we have the glue stick to glue the things to the bed for increasing the adhesion. And next we have the extruder box. The things that we need to assemble our extruder. So the extruder itself is in here. There's this fan, the quiet fan that we have. We have another fan right in here to cool down the extruder. We have the surface detection sensor for moving, for homing the Z-axis. We have a cable to make another connection. And inside this one, and inside that one, we have another sensor. So this is a sensor that senses thing in between. I think this is going to be using for detecting this filament, I believe. Next one, we have the Purusa filament. It is really nice one. So this is a one kilo filament that came with the printer. One kilo. It's great. 1.75 millimeter PLA. One kilo. Lovely. We are going to use it. This is our power cord. Very simple. Next, I'm going to open some bars. These are Y-axis bars. As you can see, this is a really nice surface. This is a really nice surface finish piece. I bet it is aluminum, but I'm not sure. So this is a really nice surface finish. Touching it makes you feel good. And let's open it more. There's another piece in here. Really nice to touch again. And we have these aluminum pieces that we are going to assemble. So as you can see, these are really lovely aluminum pieces. Black, I bet they're anodized and they look handsome. Next what I have is the PSU. So this is basically the power supply, 24 volts. And again, this one is black, so beautiful. If I remember correctly, this is one of the upgrades too, it's black. Next, we are going to open the plastic part set, which are orange. Okay, when we look at this one, we have, again, the adapter, extruder, idler, FS level, FS cover, everything that is located inside this piece. And we have the Y-axis pieces. I don't know why they give us 3D printed belt holders and everything. I would prefer them to give us metal pieces. But I think they love printed parts on a printer. And these are the X and motor holder pieces and idler pieces. So these are good pieces. I love them. Again 3D printed. These are basically reminding me the A8 actually. But yeah, Bruce is original. And we have more motor holders as you can see in here. These are for Z axis tops and pieces. And we have the LCD cover of the original Pursa. Again, as you can see, those are marked beautifully. And we have E axis related pieces, all the carriages and everything. You can see them in here. We will open them and enjoy them as in our assembly. And we have the spool holder. Of course, spool holder is not 3D printer. It's very high quality plastic, so it's not going to bend easily because it's going to carry almost two kilograms on a distance height over the printer itself. So this is the spool holder pieces. So we have our covers for circuits and PSU, and these are in here and looks good. What I'm going to unbox is this piece, big thing. And all the shafts and the lead screws and everything are in here. Wait, there are no lead screws in here. Or is there? Okay. It seems like we have all the shafts that are located in here, but not the lead screws. So, And I'm going to put my shafts back to it so that I don't get them dirty. So 
So these are all the shelves that I have. And what else that we get is the covers for our cables and everything. So these covers are good. But next what I'm going to open is Pursa Motor Kit. Da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. And all the motor kits are in here. I was wondering where were the lead screws. And it turns out that lead screws are attached to motor. So there are no coupling in here. The lead screw is already attached to the motor. It comes that way, which is good. So we have Z-axis motors, two of them to the sides with the lead screw and the lead screw not over there. And we have the other motors that are located in here for Y-axis, Z-axis and the extruder itself. So this is cool. So our motors are in here. And very, very final one is the frame and the bed and the rest of the pieces. So let's open it up. When we open it, we can see the first thing is our heated bed, the Prusa MK52 magnetic heat bed, which is lovely. And we are going to assemble this, it's going to be awesome. And yeah, do not print on this directly, don't forget about that. Next, we have the metal sheet that we are going to print on directly. And this is the metal sheet. So what we are going to print on is right in here. So awesome. So awesome. And you know, it's flexible. So you can flex the thing to pop out the print out of the bed. So fancy. Next, what we have is the heat bed holder. So you can see it is very high quality. It's really nice and lightweight too. And this is our simply heat bed holder. The good thing is, since this is high quality, it's not going to be easily bent this way or this way. So in the normal cheap printers, what happens is this piece bends from these sections, from the cross sections, and you feel like the corners and the center of the heated bed are not balanced properly. That's why when your nozzle comes to the center, it hits the bed, but when it comes to the corners, it doesn't. Uh, it was because of this piece is weak on the cheap printers. Next, what we have is the frame of it. So as you can see, this as you can see, it's too big to fit on my screen. But let me turn it around. So this is the Prusa frame, and this is the front of it. It's written in here as Prusa. Really nice, really solid thing, and everything is so awesome. And let's put it on our desk. Okay guys, thank you for watching. We are at the end of the unboxing Prusa video, MK3S, the latest version. It is so lovely, it is so awesome. There are many, many parts in here that we need to assemble. There is an instruction manual that comes with it. But in my next video, of course, I'm going to assemble this 3D printer just for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you can get the notification for the next video. And we are going to 3D print a really nice, lovely, small robot that everybody can do with another kit. You will see that video floating around somewhere on the screen. Click to watch that unboxing video too. And make sure, and make sure that you subscribe so that you can check out the next video. And see you guys in the next video.